physically and mentally fit. We also conduct regular classes for managing psychosomatic disorders like diabetes, arthritis, hypertension, arthritis, and spinal problems. In today's program, the one hour class will be covered by Mr. Badmukun Sain. He is a national yoga champion. He has long expertise in the performance of uh, yoga class. That by the practice of those aspects of the yoga, one can keep oneself physically and mentally fit. One can be creative and dynamic. Well, uh, he will start with some um, isometric exercises. Then we'll have a session of yogasanas and a few pranayamas. And ultimately, a class, a transcription of yogic relaxation will be given in this particular uh, program by the practice of this integrated yoga daily one can keep oneself physically and mentally healthy. These isometric exercises, one should stand up, both his feet together, arms by the sides of one's thighs. Now the first exercise of the chest breathing. You will breathe in through the nostrils, expand this chest, Breathe out through the nostril and contract the chest. See the expansion and contract the chest. This exercise should be performed at least 10 to 15 times. This is highly beneficial for those who are having the pain in chest and problems related to lungs. Extremely beneficial for the lungs disorders too. Now come to the second exercise that is exercise for the neck. The first exercise in which you would move the neck to the right side and left side with little stretching on either side. This helps in toning the muscles side muscles of the neck and prevents any cervical problem. Now the second aspect of this exercise in which the neck is moved forward and backward with little force. There should not be any jerk. Three times forward and three times back. Now this exercise in which he moves his neck in a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Move it three times in a clockwise direction and three times in an anti-clockwise direction. All these exercises helps in toning the muscles of the neck, prevents cervical and other spinal disorders of the upper spine. Now come next exercise for the whole arm. Whole arm. Clench the fist of both the hands. Thumb should be tucked inside. Now breathe in slowly through the nostrils. Hold the breath. Move the arms in a clockwise direction. When you are unable to hold the breath, bring both the arms in front of your chest. While breathing out forcibly, bring the arms in front of the chest. Now repeat this exercise in an anti-clockwise direction. Now see, Mr. Balmukun Singh is revolving the arms in an anti-clockwise di anti direction while holding the breath. Now breathing out and bringing the arms in front of the chest. The chest. Bring both the hands in front of your thighs while breathing in slowly through the nostrils, lift both the arms upward and backward along with your head. While breathing out slowly 
bring both the arms in front of your thighs and the neck should become straight. He will repeat this exercise again. One should repeat this exercise three times. While leaning out, he is coming down. Now he will demonstrate from the side, from one side. Look at him, the same exercise is repeated from the side. Extremely beneficial for the lungs disorders and of course for those who are having the pizza. Breathing out, he is coming down. Now for the second exercise, he should face front. Now breathing in slowly through the nostrils, lift both the shoulders up, bring both the arms behind your back, bend your neck, stretch your chest as much as possible. While breathing out, he is coming down to the original position. Repeat it. Again, he will repeat it three times. Now, while breathing out, he is coming down. Now, the third, he will repeat it from behind. Breathing in slowly through the nostrils, expanding the chest, bringing both the arms behind one back, stretching while breathing out, coming down to the eyes in the position. Now the next exercise is for the whole arm. Please bring both your arms in front of your chest. Now stretch the fingers as much as possible. Now move the wrist joint up and down slowly and gently five times, up and five times down. Remember, you have to keep the portion between the wrist and the shoulder tight. Now the second part of this exercise, bring both the arms in front of your chest while bending it from the elbows and the same movement from the wrist joint five times. After doing this, come gently. Now next exercise is for the abdomen. Breathe in slowly through the nostrils and expand the abdomen. Breathe out slowly to the nostrils and contract the abdomen. Breathing is only through the nostril. He's expanding it slowly and contracting it. It is a rhythmic breathing. One should practice this 10 to 13 times. It prevents all the digestive disorders like constipation, indigestion, gastric trouble, etc. There is another way of doing it. One should do at a fast pace. He should increase the rhythm. See, his abdomen that is moving fast inside and outside. Extremely beneficial for the abdominal muscle. Now keep apart your both the legs at a distance of one and a half feet. Place both your hands on the knees, bend both your knees slowly. Now breathe out totally through your nostrils and contract the abdomen. This is Ujjan Ban. It is extremely beneficial for all the abdominal problems and also good for the lungs disorder. It strengthens the diaphragmic muscles. Now look the same from the side view. From the side view of the Udyan Ban. Breathing out completely through the nostrils. He has retained the breath and now contracted the abdominal muscles inside and holding it. This is the exercise one must perform daily, at least for twice or twice. Come down slowly. Now he will perform the exercise of Nori, one of the most important aspects in the cleansing processes. Now he has placed both his hands on the knees, breathe out completely, hold the breath, 
and contract the rectum abdominal muscles. Now he will move it to the clockwise and anti-clockwise direction three times, three and a half times to the right side and three and a half times to the left side. Look at him. Again, how he is performing the Nadi Kriya. The Hatyo Pradipika says, the yogic text, the Hatyo Pradipika, which emphasizes about this Nadi. Mandalini Sandi Pantvajanadi Sandhapika Nandakari Sadeva Ashesha Dosha Maya Shoshani Chapatriya Mauri Riyam Chapatriya which means it removes dyspepsia, increases appetite and digestion, and is like the goddess of creation and causes happiness. It dries up all the disorders. This Nali is an excellent exercise in Hatha Yoga. This is an exercise for the waist. Bring your body in this position. That means keep your legs as far as possible. Bring both your hands just on the waist line. Thumb should be forward and forefingers backward. Now while breathing in slowly through the nostrils, bend the upper portion of the chest backward as much as possible. While breathing out slowly, bring the upper portion of your body down forward. Once again, while breathing in, he is going backward. Look at him. Now, breathing out slowly, he is coming down. Place both your hands on the ground and come down gently. Stand up. Now, the second exercise for the waist keep your feet at a distance of one and a half feet from one and a half feet. Breath, stretch both your arms sideways. After that, you bend your body from the waist to the right side. Look at him and hold for a few seconds. Now again, move the upper portion in the middle. Move to the left side. Hold for a few seconds. One can repeat this exercise twice on each side. This enables the elasticity of the waist region, extremely beneficial for the lower spine. Now come in the middle for doing Sarvan Pusti for the muscular development of the body. Stretch your legs as far as possible. Now raise, lift both the arms up. Clench your fist. Both the thumb should be tucked inside. Look at his wrist. Look at his wrist. It is one over the other. Now breathing in slowly. First bend your body backward. Then to the right side. Here, breathe out through the nostril. Change the position of the wrist while breathing in again. Start lifting the upper portion of your body. Upward, backward and go to the other side. Now breathe out here again. Change the position of the wrist. Once again while breathing in. Do it three times from each side. This is extremely beneficial exercise for the muscular development of the body. Those who are slim, thin, they must perform this exercise every day. Now, while please come down gently while placing both the hands on the ground and bring both your feet together. Now, the locomotive exercise known as engine dog. For this, you have to make the position, see the right hand straight, the left one is bent from the elbow, the left leg is also bent from the knee. See the left leg also, which is bent from the knee. Now while breathing in, 
and breathing out, he has changed the position of the arms and legs. Breathe briskly and change the position of arms and legs. Every time you change the position of your arms and legs, you hit the hips with the heels. Now he will perform the same by facing you. Now this locomotive exercise should not be performed by those who are suffering from hypertension, spinal problem, colon problem, ulcer. Now come down and lie down slowly in Shavasana for relaxation. After doing all these isometric exercises, one must relax in Shavasana. See his whole body from the top of the head to the tip of the toes. The arms, lines on the sides, palms facing apart, heels together, toes lying on the sides. Look at his face. No stretching of the muscles. Eyes are closed gently. The essential things that you have to remember in Shavasana is to keep your body stable. Please do not move any part of the body. This is the first thing. After that, feel easy and comfortable. Bring your mind to every part of the body, from top of the body to the bottom. And while visualizing every part of the body, say in your mind, I am relaxing, my body is relaxing. And after that, bring your mind to the breath. Feel the breath. Watch the process of breathing. This practice one must do for five minutes. Now he will perform Surya Namaskar known by all the Indians and practiced early in the morning in the rays of the first rising sun. He will start the Surya Namaskar. It has 12 components. Now look at him. He is facing towards the east. The first step is folding the hands in Namaste Mudra and meditating upon the Lord's Son for a few seconds. This is the first step. Now for the second step in this Surya Namaskar, open the, open the eyes while breathing in slowly through the nostrils. Both the arms should be lifted upward and backward slowly. While breathing out, bend the upper portion of your body forward. Place both your hands on the ground. This is the third step in the Surya Namaskar. The fourth one, stretch your right leg backward in this position. The front leg should be bent from the knee and you have to look at, look at the front. Now the fifth step, while breathing in slowly, lift both the arms up, bend the upper portion backward. An excellent pose. Now while breathing out slowly, come down, bring both your hands on the ground. This is the sixth one. Now change the position of your legs. Now once again, breathing in slowly, lift the upper portion of your body along with the arms back far, like this. While breathing out slowly, Again, bend forward, place both your hands on the ground, bring both the arms, both the legs backward. Keep your heels and toes together. Look at your toes. This is the eighth step. While breathing in slowly, you have to take the turn like this and stretch the upper portion of your body backward. While breathing out is the ninth step. Once again, look at him, breathing in slowly and taking the turn. One should perform this danda for once only. 
Now breathing out, coming down. This is the ninth step. In the tenth step, while jumping, bring both your legs in between your hands and touching the knees with your forehead. This is the eleventh step. And the twelfth one, stretch your arms apart, hold your hands in Namaste Mudra. Again, meditate on the Lord's Son. This ends the practice of Surya Namaskar. Now Mr. Balmukun Singh will perform certain asanas which should be practiced every day to keep one's body and mind fit. The first asana is Urdhastuttan asana and stretching posture. Stretch both the arms upward, interlock all the fingers of both the hands palms facing towards the roof. Now look at his entire body which is straight. Look at his entire body which is straight. Now bend your body to the right side from the waist line. Uh, look at his entire body. He has to hold in this asana say for five breaths on one side, then change the side, go to the other side and retain the position. Remember, see his whole body, whole body, this is like Urdhastottaras. Please come down, leave this asana. One can practice twice daily this asana for about 15 to 20 seconds on each side. Now the second asana is Konasana. Keep your feet at a distance of one and a half feet from each other. Lift your right arm up, palms facing towards the ear. Now bend to the left side and retain up to 10 to 15 seconds in the beginning. After long practice, one can retain for a minute or so. Now change the side, look at him, he is lifting the left arm now, palms facing towards the ear and bending his body from the waistline to the right side. This helps in easy digestion it manages constipation, gastric problem, spinal problem, etc. Now the third asana is Tarasana. Feet together, sit, stand straight. Now stretch both your arms upward, palms facing opposite to each other. Now stretch your toes, heels also. Lift up your heels from the ground. So he is stretching the entire body upward. Look at his abdomen that is being stretched because of upward stretching. One should retain this posture for 15 to 20 seconds in the beginning. One should perform all these asanas twice for 15 to 20 seconds Later on, one can increase the duration up to one minute or more than that. This, how this is very good for the lungs disorders. Come down slowly. One must have a gentle movement in performing the asanas and coming back from the asana. Now the next asana is Kati Chakrasana. Feet at a distance of feet at a distance of one and a half feet parallel to each other. Now bring both your arms in front of your chest, both the palms facing each other. Now bend the upper portion of your body from the waist to the right side along with your neck. The portion below the waist is tight and kept stiff. 
he is holding it there no movement is there in asana you should not move any part of body now bend change the side go to the left side and retain for 15 to 20 seconds in this posture you have to look at the thumb of the left hand when you are bending towards left side and look at the thumb of the right hand when you are bending towards right side now please come back in a standing position this ends the practice of Kati Chakrasana now Mr. Singh will practice Garud Asana the eagle posture bend both your legs from the knees now lift your right leg intertwine it on the left one in the same way intertwine your right hand on the left hand both the hands making a shape of a beak of an eagle now bend both your knees downward as much as possible knees one should retain this posture again to for 15 to 20 seconds in the way come down come back from this posture and develop this posture from the other side too now the left leg intertwining the right one the left arm intertwining the right arm making both the hands like a eagles B and retaining it. Extremely beneficial for those who work while standing. It relaxes the muscles of thighs and calves. Now Mr. Balakun Singh will show some sitting asanas. In the first instance he will perform Karasana. For the Karasana you please kneel down and your heels and toes remain on the ground and place both your hands on the knees. This asana relieves constipation and also beneficial for the aching knees. Just look at his feet, the toes. This is known as kagas. In the same kagas he will develop now Utkatasana. Lift both your heels, Mr. Singh, from the ground. Place both your elbows on the knees. Interlock all the fingers of both your hands. Place it just below your chin. Mr. Singh, please show it from the back so that the viewers would have a clear picture of this Utkatasana. Now see, lift your heels up from the ground, your elbows are on the knees and spine is straight, an extremely beneficial posture, asana for digestive trouble. Now please come down and face to the camera. Now, Mr. Singh, please develop the lion posture, the Singh Hasna, the lion posture, in which you have to lift your heels up, keep apart your knees as much as possible. Place both your hands on the knees. Now, look at his face. Stitch the tongue outside as much as possible. And you have to concentrate your pupils at the eyebrow center. You have to look at the eyebrow center. Look at his eyes. The pupils. It is facing. He is pointing it towards the eyebrow center. Now look at his uh, feet. The heels and toes are together. Now also look at the... Uh, he will develop it again. You have to look at his hands also. The hands are placed in Gyan Mudra. That means you have to touch the tip of the index finger with the first line of your thumb. 
Now please come down and sit in Vajrasana. There are three kinds of Vajrasana, the Adventine posture. This is the first Vajrasana, a relaxed Vajrasana, in which both your knees are together. Your spine is straight and hands on the knees. Just look this for asana from the back also. You can change the position. Yeah. In this look at his big toe. One big toe is over the other and heels are and heels are in a relaxed position. His spine is straight. This is very good for the digestion. Now concentrate. Just look at his heels. He will change the Vajrasana, the second type of the Vajrasana, in which both the heels and toes are together. And he is sitting on the heels. This exerts pressure on the reason of the buttocks. Helps in easy digestion of the food and maintains the equilibrium of the Surya, the positive and the negative current in the body. The third type of the Vajrasana, place the right, yeah, right heel, right toes over the left one, creating pressure on the left one. In this posture, his right lung will function rapidly rather more than the left one. Now he's changing the position. This is very good for the lungs disorders and also for other digestive ailments. One should develop this posture for 15 to 30 seconds. Now Mr. Singh again come to the relaxed Vajrasana and face to the camera. In this Vajrasana, one should sit for 5 to 10 minutes just after taking the meal because it, di it digests the food easily and speedily. It is good for the aching knees also. Now he will develop frog posture, frog asana, the mandukasana. Clench the fist of the right hand, thumb should be tucked inside, the base of the thumb should be placed at the navel. Placed at the navel. Now lift your left hand, place it on the lady's finger of your right hand. After placing, bend forward. Now stretch your head upward. Look straight ahead. The extremely beneficial posture for digestion, constipation, indigestion. Uh, Platelets are relieved to a greater extent. Also good for obese people. Now please come down. Mr. Singh, could you please show it on the side, sideways, the same posture. Face this one side and see from the left hand side. One should develop this asana from the left hand and also from the right hand of equal duration. Now look at him, his buttocks are touching the heels, an extremely beneficial posture. Now please come back to the Vajrasana again, he will show now the Ostrasana, the camel posture. Now stand on your knees. Now bend your toes inside, bring your toes inside like this. Now bend the upper portion of your body backwards slowly and gently. Bring both your hands on the heels. Hang your head downward. Retain this posture for 15 to 20 seconds. But keep your breathing normal. Normal breathing means abdominal breathing. Very good asana for 
relieving the spinal problem like cervical spondylitis, lumbar spondylitis, knee aching knees, good for the digestion and extremely beneficial for the constipation. For those who are having the knees and chest, please come down and sit in Vajrasana again. See his toes flat, toes flat on the ground and sitting in Vajrasana again. Now Mr. Singh will demonstrate Uttar Mandukasana. So in the first place you have to develop the Vajrasana while bringing both your arms just behind your back on the ground. Come down slowly on the ground with the help of your elbows. Now see the right posture. Both his shoulders are touching the ground. He is in a very relaxed position and bringing both the arms bringing both the arms behind his head, holding the elbows of the respective arm. One should stay in this posture for 15 to 30 seconds in the beginning and after the practice, one should increase the duration. This is a good for the lungs disorders, spinal problem like lumbar spondylitis, sciatica problem, knees problem, any aching knees will find it a great relief in this asana. Now please come back, look at him how he is coming. It is very slow and gentle, bringing both the hands on the ground by the sides of one's thighs with the help of the elbows. Please come down. Now we have Gaumukhasana. He will double Gaumukhasana. Please bring face the camera and bring both your legs forward. Now bend your right leg from the knee and place the heel of the right leg just under your anus. Place the, bend your left knee, place it on the right knee like this. Now lift your right, lift your left arm and place it behind your back. The right arm should be brought behind your back and this is the position in which you keep your spine straight, your head straight. Now look at, look the same asana from back side also, so that the position will become clear. Gavakasana, one of the best asanas in Hatha Yogi texts. Now you have to sit on the heel of one leg and heel should be just under the anus. Means there is a pressure in the anus. Now you are lifting the right arm, play bringing it behind your back like this, bending the left arm, bringing it behind your back, intertwining, interlocking both the hands like this. The spine is straight. For the lungs disorders, for keeping physically and mentally healthy, and cervical spondylitis, and it also relieves the problems related to your anus, that means piles, fistulant fissures. Now please come back to the position, face to the camera. You have to tell them these asana slowly and gently. Now Mr. Bhagavan Singh will develop Ardhman Singh Rasa. Please bring both your legs forward, straight. Bend your right leg from the knee and place the heel of the right leg just near 
the tie of the left leg. Now bend your left leg, place the heel of the left leg just near but on the other side of the knee of the right leg. Now take the left, take the right arm and place it on the left leg. Hold the ankles or the toes. Now the other arm should be twisted backward along with the head. This is an extremely beneficial posture for relieving and controlling diabetes. It relieves constipation, indigestion, flatulence, cervical problem also. Now he will develop the same asana from the other side also. First bring both your legs forward. Now first he will bend the other leg, the left leg first, then the right leg. The heel of the right leg is placed just near the thigh, just near the knee of the left one. Now the opposite arm, it is the opposite arm, the left leg and the right arm, holding the, an holding the ankles or the toes. Now twisting the spine backward along with the other arm. Look at his head. It is bent backward. Look at the spine that is twisted. One must develop this asana every day. And this is one of the two asanas that have twisting effect on the spine. Now please come. He will develop now Paschimottanas. First bring both your legs forward. Both the heels, knees, toes together. Now slowly bring both the arms upward. Now slowly bend the upper portion of your body forward and try to hold the big toes of both the legs. Elbows on the ground, place your elbows on the ground and forehead on the knees or just forward the knees. Paschimottanas in the back stretching posture. It gives maximum elasticity to the spine. Uh, Mr. Singh, please show the same asana from the side so that the viewers have a right understanding of this asana. See, the knees are straight, lifting the arms upward, now bending forward slowly. But keeping the knees straight, holding the big toes, elbows on the ground and forehead on the knees. One should not practice this asana if he or she suffers from spinal problem. Otherwise this asana has a beneficial effect. For all. One can develop this asana for a longer period. It induces a deep state of relaxation. Now please come back and the next asana is Gunamanasana. Adoration to the earth. 